In this short video, we'll see how to set up Mark Reviewed as a feature within Blackboard that will require students to mark a piece of content, an item, as reviewed before being able to see some other item or, in this case, to upload an assignment. I'm here in the Blackboard example course in the assessment section in a folder called Assignment. There are three elements, an assignment brief where the students can download a PDF document for the brief, a assignment uh, instructions about the assignment including uh, information around the plagiarism declaration but this could be a checklist or it, indeed it could be an activity a video that students need to mark it as reviewed before being able to continue to do something else so I'm going to turn editing on and with editing on we're going to do two things we're going to first set up that the uh, piece of item here, the Accept the Plagiarism Declaration, is going to be set up so that you have the review status it is, uh, enabled. So clicking on that, we're going to enable the review status. And if we change back to the editing off mode, we'll see what a student will see. This button appears and the students can then click this to mark that they've reviewed and read this material. The second part is to make the assignment upload possibility here, in this, this assignment here, to make this conditional so students cannot view this until they've marked this as reviewed. So we do that by setting up what's called an adaptive release rule. An adaptive release is very powerful. Uh, in this case, we're going to scroll down and you can see that there's a number of different criteria that we can have uh, in terms of adaptive release and we're going to look at the review status. So we're going to click on browse and we're going to specify that the students must have accepted. So if we look down through the structure here, we're going to specify that they must have accepted the plagiarism declaration. Um, so if we can see this here and that once they've hit marked review that they can then see the uh, review, uh, they'll be able to then see this item. So hitting Submit and click OK, we now have it set up that this is based upon adaptive release. Turning Editing on shows us that what a student would see, they'd see the assignment brief, they'll see this declaration. Once they mark it as reviewed, the assignment will appear. If they mark it as unreviewed, again, they won't be able to see it as the other item, the assignment, turn it in assignment, is conditional on this being marked reviewed. We've set up an adaptive release rule. If we want to change that and remove the adaptive release rule, we just go back and we go down to the assignment, go back to adaptive release, and we can modify the rule or remove the rule. In this case, we're going to clear the rule, click Submit, And now this has no adaptive release, or it shouldn't do, so let's just double check it here. If we uh, go back to the adaptive release, scroll down. Yes, we've cleared this. So if we go back to editing off, we'll see again what students see. So although they can mark this reviewed or not, the assignment no longer is linked back to the marking reviewed of this item or not. Okay, that's it in a nutshell.